New York Giants fans, I hope you're having a great day, and you are watching New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green, and we've got some major Giants injury news to get into today about Leonard Williams, Daniel Jones, Kadarius Toney, and there's also reports now coming out via Val Ralph Facciano that the Giants and Joe Judge and his job is safe. We'll get into all that in just a quick second, but first... Let's talk about Leonard Williams and the interesting development that he may be out for the season. Ian Rappaport was first on it, and he said this. Giants DN and Leonard Williams suffered an elbow injury on Sunday that is feared to be significant. He's having tests done, but he's going to miss time. And given how late it is during the season, there is a chance that he does not return. And this absolutely sucks. It's salt in the wound. Because not only did we get blown out yesterday, we are most likely going to be out without that being said, Leonard Williams for the rest of the season. A guy that has been probably the most consistent giant this season. So guys, I want you to get involved early on in the show. Do you hate injuries? Are you tired of the injuries that have been piling up so far during this season? I saw a stat yesterday before the game, so it may have changed, but leading into last night's game, the Giants, they led the NFL with players on injured reserve. It sucks. We've been banged up all season long. So if you hate injuries, go down right now and hit the like button to try to get some good juju into the atmosphere because right now it has been very unlucky. So like this video if you hate injuries. Leonard Williams this season has been what Leonard Williams is, a consistent player for this New York Giants defensive line. He leads the NFL in tackles when it comes to the defensive lineman with 62. He has four tackles for loss, 10 QB hits, and five and a half sacks. Leonard Williams has been solid and productive as the New York Giants pass rusher. But unfortunately, now, it's an injury that could sideline him for the rest of the year, which sucks because Leonard Williams has been the epitome of being durable. He has never missed a game in his NFL career. He's been on the field. He's been available, which is always the best ability. The best ability is availability, and that's why Leonard Williams got the bag this summer because the Giants believed that he would be able to stay healthy and be on the football field. And right now, heading into week 15 with a terrible record like the Giants have, it's not the worst case in the world I don't want him to you know suffer even a worse injury so maybe it's smart to sideline him for the rest of the year but it just seems like one after another it's bad news after bad news for this New York Giants football team but good news is we're almost at 4,000 subscribers here at New York Giants now and I want to get there ASAP and it's all credit to you guys and you guys are going to get us there so I appreciate that look if you're looking for a channel that does nothing but besides cover the New York Giants this is the channel for you. Leonard Williams is out. We're making a video about it. We did that a recap yesterday. We do videos every single day about the latest Giants news and rumors. So if that's something that sounds like it interests you and something you want to be a part of, go down and hit that big red button. More Giants injury news to get to. And this time it revolves around Daniel Jones. It's been a very interesting development. At first it was a neck strain. Now it's just a neck injury. He was at practice. Gi Giants head coach Joe Judge said he was going to be a full participant at practice. Then he was held out of contact, and he has still not been cleared for contact. Daniel Jones, he left yesterday out of L.A. early, flew back to New Jersey and New York, and he's now seeing a neck specialist at the hospital for special, special surgery. Last week, he met with an orthopedic spine surgeon and was not cleared for contact. This is something that the Giants definitely are worried about and something that could hold him out for the rest of the season. At this point, you're dealing with a neck injury. The season's lost. Daniel Jones, his evaluation at this point is not going to be, you know, something that's going to be at the priority list for the Giants because you're not going to be able to evaluate him with the necessary surroundings that are around him. His offensive line is terrible. It's beat up. The playmakers on the outside are hurt. So there's no reason to rush Daniel Jones back. And I like how the Giants are being super cautious, but they're also being super vague with everything they know. Joe Judge, he said he had nothing to add to the story, but CBS Sports, they did have something to add. They said this, a source with, a source with knowledge of the orthopedic field tells CBS Sports that specialists are likely trying to determine if Jones has suffered ligament damage or potentially even worse, a bruised spinal cord. At this point, if it's either of those things, 
Just sit Daniel Jones for the rest of the season. You don't want to throw a guy out there that has a questionable neck injury that you really don't know what the injury is, and it sounds like the Giants don't, and I know they won't put him out until they know exactly what it is. But who knows when that'll be. He's not just going to wake up tomorrow and be able to be cleared for contact. This could be a long-term injury. Who knows? It may be career-threatening. There has not been a lot of details to emerge from this case, and that's starting to make me question and have major, major concerns. But if I'm the Giants... I'm Joe Judge. I'm just coming out right now and saying it. Joe Daniel Jones is out for the season. It's our priority and it's our number one focus to get him healthy for next season. That's what I hope Joe Judge would say, but who knows? They're probably hoping he can get cleared and will be back under center, knowing the Giants and the way they've handled injuries all season long. But you be the coach. You be Joe Judge. Should the Giants sit Daniel Jones for the rest of the season? Is there a reason for him to play or is there not a reason for him to play? I want you guys to sound off and get your comments in the comment section. Be active for me. I know you guys like to sound off and be colorful. Today, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know. Should the Giants sit Daniel Jones for the season? Why for yes or in for no? There are recent reports coming out via SNY and Ralph Vacchiano that Joe Jod Judge's job is safe for next, re for next season. And I have a problem with that because you see it right under me. Joe Judge, his record as the New York Giants coach since he took over last year is 10 and 19. And there are reports that Dave Gettleman is not going to be the GM next year, which means a new guy is going to be there. And I don't think it's fair to that guy, which we'll get into in a second, that you want to just thrust Joe Judge to be his head coach. But an unnamed NFL source, he had an interesting piece, and he said this. A few weeks ago, I would have told you no chance he gets fired. Now, even after the Giants' 37-21 loss to the Chargers on Sunday, I'd probably still say no chance. John Mara loves Judge. He thinks he's found his Bill Belichick or his Bill Parcells, and there's just no way he gives up on another coach this soon. This would be the third coach in a row if Judge were to be fired after this year that is fired after just two seasons. Joe Judge, after the loss to the Chargers yesterday, he was asked about his job security. He said this, when I took this job, I made it very, very clear. I was only going to do this if we are all committed to doing this the right way. That's been something that's been very clear from ownership on down. I'm very happy with the support ownership gets. And that's exactly what we're talking about. The owners, they clearly like uh, J Joe Judge for whatever reason. Some people say his IQ is high. I question it. But the owners, and he just lets you know that he has their support. And that's what's upsetting to me. Because the new G GM for the New York Giants should be able to decide Joe Judge's future. That guy, whoever it is, should be able to decide if he wants Joe Judge to be the head coach or if he doesn't want them to be the head coach. But the Mara family demanding that Judge be back limits your GM search. If you're hiring GMs and telling them that Joe Judge, no matter what, is going to be our head coach, you're going to start going in this forever long process of, all right, we're going to get a new GM and we're going to give the head coach one more year because Joe Judge, no matter what, if he's back, is going to be on the hot seat next year. So what? You're going to fire him after the 2022 season, one year after you just hired a new GM? And then what are you going to do if that guy struggles? Fire the GM? It's just an ever long cycle that you don't want to get into. This is your chance to fix it now. Let the GM, whoever it is, decide if he wants Joe Judge back or if he wants a new guy. Don't even tell the GMs that you want Joe Judge back. Let them decide. Because when you tell them that you want Judge to be the head coach, you're narrowing your search and you're only interviewing and possibly hiring guys that are friends or are fond, that is, of Joe Judge. And that's not what you want. You want to launch a league-wide search with a GM having the power to choose his own head coach. I think that's really important for this GM cycle upcoming in the offseason. But be the GM. Who knows who it's going to be? Would you bring back Joe Judge next year? Let me know. Type B for bring back or type F for fire. This is something that the new GM is going to 100% have to answer. And I think it should be fair to him that he gets to choose who his head coach is and isn't just told that it has to be Joe Judge. But get your votes in. Type B for bring back or F for fire. I want to give a shout out to our proud sportsbook partner and friends and sponsors of today's show, Bet US. They are the number one sportsbook partners out on the internet, and I promise you, you want to join the amazing deal that they have. If you go to chatsports.com slash bet and use the promo code chat125, and when you deposit $100, they will give you $125 and 125% deposit 
bonus. Then you will have $225 in your account to gamble with on game days. No matter the sport. NFL, maybe you're a Knicks fan and you love betting on the Knicks. It doesn't matter. BetUS, they have they have games to bet on in every single sport. So go there before the deal ends. Go to chatsports.com slash bet and make sure you use the promo code chat125. Because if you don't use that link, and you don't use that promo code, you're not going to get the deal of 125% deposit bonus. So get going with BetUS one more time, chatsports.com slash bet, promo code chat125. The last player I want to touch on today when it comes to injury news is Kadarius Tony. Where is he? What's going on with him? And I think there's a lot to unpack here, so give me a second. He has not played since week 11 after suffering that oblique injury that was first called a quad injury, which has now transferred to an oblique injury. Last week, following uh, before Thursday's practice, Joe Judge called him a game-time decision. And then they practiced, and then he was ruled out. So Joe Judge, if you haven't learned, is never going to tell you anything when it comes to the Giants injury report because that's what it's been, and that's been the, the story all season long. There were videos that populated on Twitter from last Thursday's practice, and it was Kadarius Tony just jogging through routes on air with the quarterback, and he looked really aggravated injury-wise, and he did not look healthy. He was slow. He looked like he was in a lot of pain, and that's not good for New York Giants fans and especially fans of Kadarius Tony and seeing this offense do well because this offense has done better when Kadarius Tony is on the field. But the problem, he's been banged up all year long. He had the COVID stuff coming into the season, forced him to miss the preseason, forced him to miss a lot of training camp. Then he had the ankle injury, and now the quad injury that has turned into the oblique injury. This is something that has been unfortunate for New York Giants fans because when Kadarius Toney has been on the field, when he's been a part of the game plan, he has been their most explosive player by a head, by head and shoulders. He's been more explosive than Saquon Barkley. He's been more explosive than Kenny Galladay. Kadarius Toney, when on the field, has been great. But the problem, he hasn't been on the field a lot, and these nagging injuries have been nagging him all year long. And that's something that I'm starting to be concerned about, and I'm wondering if you guys are concerned about it. So get your comments in the comments section one more time. I love taking the pulse of you guys and seeing where you stand on topics like this. Let me know. Is Kadarius Tony injury prone? Type I for injury prone or type U for unlucky. Get your votes in the comments right now. And guys, make sure you're subscribed. I know we mentioned it at the top of the show, but I want to really get to 4,000 subscribers ASAP. We need to get there, and as soon as we get there, we will be able to do more videos here at Giants Now. I'm excited about that, so go down and hit that big red button right now.